All right, what's up guys? As you can tell from the title of this video, this video is going to be about the importance of losing and failing. Uh, this is probably going to be a little two-part thing with one video, uh, one subcast being from me and the other being from Coach Purdy. I hope um, some of my middle school guys are watching this or even some of the middle school coaches are watching this. It, you know, it can benefit everybody. This isn't just for wrestlers or athletes. This is this can even go for coaching because, as you know, coaches also have goals too. And, you know, me and Coach Purdy, we have plenty of goals. And Lord knows that we've probably not accomplished some of them quite yet. So, sorry, my throat was a little dry. Um, yeah, so let's just get right into it. It sounds very contradictory of, you know, what you want in life. Obviously, everyone wants to win. Everyone wants to be moving forward and getting first place. And that That's great. That is that is a great goal. Um, if you don't have any goals, please go back and watch my last subcast video. That is going to be very important for you guys. Um, along that way, though, this kind of, you know, that's kind of a, a little tie-off from this is, you know, along the way to your goals, you are going to experience failures. And sometimes failures can be, you might feel they're catastrophic and it's just the end of your goal. But don't think of it that way. You know, when you, when you fail, you need to start, instead of looking at it as failing, think of it as learning. So for a lot of you who don't know, you know, WD-40, the everyone knows what WD stands for. It stands for water displacement. And the 40 actually stands for, if I'm not mistaken, it stands for the amount of times he failed before he got that, uh, before he got the right, you know, set up. And, and if I'm not mistaken, I think it was Thomas Edison said, you know, when he figured out how to invent the light bulb, he didn't figure out how to invent the light bulb. He actually figured out, I think it was like a thousand ways not to invent the light bulb. You know, so he had one glaring success and tons of small little failures along the way, you know, and we're always going to experience failures on the way. That's just, that's just how things go. No one, no one's ever perfect. And I know you can sit here and make the argument. Kale Sanderson won four NCAA titles and did it all undefeated. Well, I guarantee you somewhere along the right, along the way, either in the wrestling room or in a match, he failed at some point, whether it be in not executing his game plan perfectly or kind of taking, you know, slacking off a little bit and realizing, Hey, I can, I need to get back in the wrestling room. I need to work harder because yeah, I won this match, but if I wrestle like that again, it's not, I'm not going to win. So yeah, I mean, failure, failure is a great tool for learning. And especially at this middle school level, a lot of kids take it hard when they do fail. And I think a lot of that is because they are putting themselves out there. It is an ego thing for kids in middle school. You know, a lot of, a lot of younger guys, they are so worried about what their peers think and they're worried about their appearance and their, you know, just, just their external, you know, aura, I guess you could say. And what, when it comes to wrestling, especially, you know, I mean, this comes for every sport, you do have to put yourself out there and it, it can be difficult, but with putting yourself out there, you have to be able to, you know, this is where that, hey, accept it as it comes in kind of mentality from, you know, poking your chest out and shoulders back in my last video. This is, it's a, it's a very important part. It's that you're going to have to, you're going to have to accept the fact that you're not always going to win. And just because you don't always win, don't, don't hold on to it. You know, there's a saying that I like to tell some people is you can't, you can't drive forward looking in the rear view mirror because you will crash. You know, if I'm, if I'm holding on to a loss that I had say at a tournament and then I'm trying to go on to the next, you know, like at the next match or the next, you know, the next tournament per se, you know, if I'm still holding on to that one loss, I'm, going to lose. It, there's just no way about it. You know, there is a way of holding on to it in a healthy way, but then the healthy way is learning from it and taking it into the room. So for instance, say, Hey, my shots weren't as aggressive or I wasn't having an aggressive offense. I wasn't pummeling on the head. I wasn't, you know, I wasn't even committing to my shots or, you know, from a top game, it's like, I wasn't applying enough pressure. I was kind of tired. I was sitting on my knees or from the bottom. It's like, Hey, I wasn't, I wasn't even trying to get up. You know, those are those are things that you can hold on to per se that you can take into the practice room and work on, but after so long you do have to let them go. You know, you have to have a short term memory. You know. It it is it's easier said than done, but I know a lot of guys, you know, especially a lot of the great guys, that's how they that's how they work. It's they try not to celebrate they try not to celebrate the wins too much and they try not to dwell on the losses. So even if they win, they're like, okay, I need to advance from here. And when they lose, they think, I need to, I also need to advance from here. I need to figure out what happened. You listen to a lot of MMA fighters, 
for one off the top of my head, Dominic Cruz, when he lost to Cody Garbrandt, I think back in 2016 or something, it's been a while. Um, you know, he owned up to it. He said, Hey, look, the better man won. Now it's back to the drawing board. It's back to figuring out what I need to do to beat him the next time we face off. And that's the mentality you guys got to have. If, if someone beats you, use that as, use that as that motivation. It's not something to, you know, hang your head on and go pout in the corner. Think of it like, all right, you got me this time. It's going to happen. It's going to happen again. But next time I've got you, you know, I've got your number now. I know what you're going to bring to the table. So that's it. Yeah. It's just a quick little video guys. That's the importance of failure and the importance of losing. Um, yeah. Don't, don't sit there and don't be okay with failing all the time, but also don't be afraid to fail because you know, failure is going to happen in life. It's just, it's, it's inevitable at some point it is going to be inevitable. So Thanks, guys, for listening. Subscribe to the Cerebrus Wrestling Podcast. We're also on iTunes now. iTunes, Anchor, Google Play, um, SoundCloud. We're looking to be on Podcast One. Also, go to click on the channel here in YouTube and go to channels, and you'll see my personal page. Subscribe to that as well for more podcasts. Yeah, and just remember, guys, hashtag Russell6.